Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video, we successfully complete our delete part. Right now, our total code application we successfully done. Right now, friend, I want to do on to visible all the data that is in our database data. Right, so now that is the data I want to visible in our font int. So if you want to visible it, first of all, you have to find out a specific that file location. Right, so that is in our font int. First of all, I want to go there. Right now, we don't need this. Say close it, trim, close it, and close it. Now, if you go to our view, okay, into the view, right now there is the admin part and there is our font in part. So everything right now in our index, into this index, I want to simply take it, okay, better I copy it. I want to create another file for this. First of all, I want to find out that our segment part. That means right now that is our service area. Um, there is a service area and then um, there is our work process okay and then that is our you can see there is a portfolio area right so that is our section perfect so now i want to do and to simply take that section section i simply selected that the so many images i want to find out that note where exactly it's finished mm, that is our portfolio portfolio and it mm, there are so many data actually portfolio you can see there is a portfolio and area and right portfolio area and so now better i want to do i want to cut it i simply cut it from to this position there is a portfolio started and portfolio ended now in our home okay in our home all i want to all uh, before i have already segment our about and then side now i want to create on the new file and i click as a save as and i just name it as a that will be the portfolio right so i make it as a portfolio okay portfolio dot blade dot php so now i simply paste it in here i simply paste it great so now we have to do we have to also include it right we have to include that part so if you want to include uh right now i copy it okay copy it now in our portfolio page so that is in our portfolio mm, where it is there is a printed you can see there is a portfolio area started portfolio area and here i paste it so that was included font int into the font in as a home all into this home all i have already created on the file name as a portfolio okay portfolio perfect so i simply get that our portfolio portfolio i found it home i included that file great now if you go to our portfolio first of all i have to check it everything is work perfectly or not click as a save all now go to our side now click the refresh mm, yeah you can see everything is perfect that means our include functionality x is perfectly working now i want to do and to segment it here there is so many data actually i don't need that i only want to do and to take one because i want to actually loop it uh, like that is our table mm, that is a button so they have some of the all button button means there is some you can see there are some of the buttons right now we don't need this button i want to make it as a clean okay so now there is a all there is one of the depth center mm, there is a row i want to want to minimize it so there is one of the tab or tab another one so i want to do Mm, there is another tab right so if you select this tab this tab is ended in here right now i simply select it and then i want to turn to delete it okay simply delete it then that is our portfolio id right so that is a portfolio id mm, that is our another tab i select this tab tab is ended Mm, there is so many banking development right now we don't need this i want to turn to remove it okay so there is our tab i simply remove it mm, perfect there is our another panel okay another panel for the tab i want to do mm, there is a tab web development mm, there is also there is a table with the tab panel Mm, there is tab panel one dev so here there is one of the dev why our shortcut key is not visible there is only visible in here so now i want to do there is a the web development part there is a src there is a panel right there is one, one panel i select this dev this dev is ended 
in here in here so now i want to do and to delete it okay i'll simply delete it and now there is another day panel i select it and that is ended in here so now i want to do and delete it okay so now there is our another one i want to select i only want to do want to take one actually you can see there is also another one as a landing dave is ended here i remove it there is another one as a banding i select this dave and then i want to do i want to simply remove it and then there is a, another one and that is our last one right so i want to, want to take only one so which is totally fine okay i simply take one perfect and also here they have some of the dev in the dev portfolio i want to find out a specific our common part okay so our common part here there is a container there is on the call and there is our active right there is a portfolio active mm, there is also another one was a web development portfolio item okay portfolio item i want to do i want to simply there is a portfolio item so that is actually our common part right so that is actually our common part now i want to do i want to simply select our common part so that is a dev dev is ended so i only want to do to take one and rest of this i want to delete okay i simply delete it like first of all i want to check it i simply delete our portfolio item one and that is our last item there is a portfolio item last one so it's, if you select this dev dev is ended so i simply remove it great so now that is actually our main part okay so here now we have to do we have to run our for each loop okay so now our images will be display name will be display title will be display great great so first of all i want to do and to get this data if you want to get it in our here i want to add another php blog and i want to do and to end this php blog and then that will be same if you go to our portfolio i have already get all the data before you can see that is the same things i copy it i copy this method now in our portfolio i want to do want to add it so in our portfolio if you want to access it we have to access it directly as an app and then the models all right there is an app models and then our portfolio from to the portfolio i want to do want to get all that our latest data and take the things with this variable now with this variable you can display it so that is our item part if you select this deb deb is ended here i want to do want to use one of the for each loop right so i simply added the for each okay that will be as a for each loop and also i want to do and to finish it then it will be as and for each okay then that will be as and for each and now i want to uh, use it so that will be as a portfolio portfolio i make it as a as item okay i make it as a dollar item that is another variable now with this variable i want to do and visible our all the things i want to visible that images so if you want to visible that image then that will be the same concept as an asset and with this asset i name it our item with this item our field name our field name for the images i have already go to that structure that is our portfolio image right i copy it so now that will be the portfolio image now i want to do and visible that our title so that will be our name and then title i want to update both of these first of all that will be our name as a portfolio name i copy it so that will be the portfolio name and with this item i want to display our another one as a portfolio title okay so now i want to do and display the portfolio title and also here we have to use that blade syntax so that is our blade syntax which is totally fine and also here we have to display the blade syntax great great now that should be work now that should be work now let's check this out if you click the save all and now if you go to our home page now to refresh it so now if you go you can see it's not display it's not display because of all this maybe they have some of the id is missing mm, there is a tab panel i want to do and to check it if you go to our index do this index i open it with the sublink text editor and here i want to find out that portfolio mm, like that is actually our portfolio right there's some the dave is missing i think because our concept is the same that is our process work process and after that work process mm, that is our day panel okay so that is actually a day panel for the portfolio or first panel i want to do and to find out 
because I have already removed everything. There is a tab, tab contain and also there is a portfolio area, right? So into this portfolio area, there is a justify center. Mm, there is an ID. And it's all mm, this tab website. I want to do there is a tab contain ID this one panel they have one of the panel you can see they have on the panel our first panel first panel dev will be as a show active and ID will be as a all okay now I want to check it I want to update the show active so that is our first panel you can see that is one of the tab panel I want to make it as a show active and ID ID I want to use it as a all okay now let's check this out because I have already removed everything or first dev I want to, to take it so that will be the show active one of the class here we have to actually use it now if you look at the save all and now again I want to do and to refresh it yes you can see now it's perfect now it's perfectly visible our images it's perfectly displayed that our name our title is visible and also show active yes you can see it's perfectly working right all the data now it comes from our database great great so our portfolio page is now successfully updated now that is totally dynamic now i want to do and to create that our details page when you click it a specific one of the id here it will be returned redirect to our page okay so how can do this work better in our next video i will show you that things with the live example so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video